Great here. Welcome back to Great Gone Rogue. Poor Asmero. We hard we knew ya. Literally. Ugh. Okay, let's see if I can do better this time. Uh, I want to try something different. Uh, let's see. Let's just go with the base human. Which, uh, well... Uh, a Kornak. Which, uh, I get an extra talent point at birth plus others. But I have no... No stat modifiers at all. So, what warriors do we have? Uh, rogue, mage. I can I can be anything pretty much. Hmm. Let's try the the bulwark, which is sword and board. There we go. Um, let's go female this time. Random name. I can't pronounce that, so another random name. Oh, I, I'm hitting random, random. Whoops, hold on. Karnak, warrior, bulwark, female, random name. Duvar. There we go. Duvar, the human bulwark. Let's start. I forgot to hit that, um, that, uh, option which would remove all the gains. Let's see. First off, I get my extra category. Hmm. I want sword and board, so I'm not going to go two-handed. Let's see. Superiority. Doesn't kick in until level 10. Archery is dexterity, so I'm not going dex. Battle tactics kicks in at level 10. Technique. Ten and dirty fighting is cunning, and I'm not going cunning. Field control. What's this? Dexterity. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to bank this category point. I can also add it, uh, use it to add it to my inscriptions, um, which are what allowed me to heal on the last one. Uh, it's this game's version of potions. I, I don't think I've ever seen a potion, but you can pick up inscriptions and use them on a cooldown. So I can have mo more inscriptions by using that. But I'm just actually going to bank the category point right now. Uh, I get two generic talent points. Uh, let's spend my base points first. Uh, my constitution is lower, so let's just get to 15-15. There we go. And I'm probably going to have to bank a point here. No, I can get two into this, which allows me to recover faster. This is actually pretty good defensively. Uh, let's see, shield pummel, shield defense. Uh, definitely want that, the uh, increased stam regen. Because I'm going to be burning stam like crazy. Rush, mm, not too sure about that yet. Well, I definitely need offense, so shield bash it is. Two shield strikes. Yep, okay. So let's go heavy into that, and then we'll get shield wall. Double, sh uh, nope, single shield wall, which gives me my defense. And like I said, banking the category points. So the humans actually start off in a completely different section. I'm going to stop reading those. Those are. If you want, you can pause the video. I haven't ever been big on the flavor. So, okay. So as I was saying, the humans start off in a completely different area. I don't have an ally. I'm not in a dungeon. I'm actually working through the troll mire to get to the first, uh, out of the troll mire into the first town. So the first thing I want to do is activate my sustain. This increases my defense, but uh, reduces my physical damage. And if I die right off the bat, let me get back in the corner. Uh, let me reflect on him, shield bash him. 
hope that's... Ah, that snake did come around. Reflect. Shield bash. There we go. Oh, I forgot to do my uh, initial uh, inscription as well. Let's take a look at what this uh, block does. It raises my shield for a turn, reducing all damage. If you block all of an attacker's damage, they will be vulnerable for a counter uh, counter strike. So you basically want to chain your block into another attack. And since I mentioned it and I'm thinking about it, let's get this uh, infusion used and down on the bar. One thing that Tome does that's really nice, it remembers where you place things on the bar. That's why my, sh my shield reflect, or uh, my block is on three, because that's where I put it last time. I played a bulwark. And let's start moving around. Um, interesting terrain. This is a font of life. And what the font of life does is it gives me extra regeneration and uh, on pretty much everything. So it's kind of nice if I get into a big fight, I can always retreat to one of these and, and heal up a bit, but I think it also affects the mobs. I'm not sure. Uh, right, I don't have my charge anymore. Let's run the clock out so I can get my uh, my reflect or my block up. Block and hit. So as you can see, it takes a lot to kill things, but you notice how my health is hardly, hardly going down at all. Actually, I'm going to push in so I can take that out first. There we go. Lock him. Oh, he didn't attack me? Really? And since I don't have a cloak, it doesn't matter what this is. But this does give me more willpower and magic, which I'm not going to use, but extra defense. There we go. Actually, I think there's a whole bunch of inscriptions in here. Uh, let's give it a try. Snakes. Why does it always have to be snakes? Okay, let's stay here. No, yes, no, yes. Stay here, let it move out. And we'll take them on one at a time. Just wait for that block, uh, block to come up. Block and attack. Block and attack. Uh, starting to get a bit low. Let's hit our regen. Okay. Another fun part about roguelikes. You can stop to level up right in the middle. So, let's see. This requires strength. And this requires constitution and strength. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Well, for the time being, let's just go two into strength, one into constitution. And I've got one generic point, which I'm going to drop into the, uh, what is this, vitality? And then... Let's see. I'm actually going to pick up... I'm going to try to balance these two out. Shield defense and shield offense. Yes. Oh, I just remembered another thing that I can do, which I don't quite understand, but I'll, I'll show after this. Uh... There we go. Okay. So, in the powers... The other thing that I can do, and like I said, this is the part that I, I, I don't quite understand. So say um, I'm going heavy into shield offense. This category point, I can actually click here, and it increases the shield offense. See how before it was 1.3, now it's 1.5? 
Um, I'm not sure. Oh, let's look at this. So it goes from 150 to 162. If I put a talent point in there, it goes 154 to 166. Oh, so it just makes everything everything across the board better. That's good to know. Okay, I'm still going to bank on uh, bank it. So I'm just going to grab all these real quick, and then I'll take a look at them and see if there's any that I want to use. Now this base infusion down here, um, it heals for 50. Yeah, heals for 50, cleanse one wound and po poison effect, but it doesn't do anything else. This is a regen, um, but it again, it doesn't do anything else. Or if I go here and you see this regeneration infusion of the Titan, it activates, it, it heals for more, and it also scales off my constitution stat, where the other one doesn't scale at all. So this is actually a better regeneration than the regen I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it, and I'm going to replace my current regeneration. So now I have a better regen. Uh, let's see, do I have any uh, phase door? Mm, no. Phase door would be nice for movement, but I don't want to remove any of these. At least not yet. Sun infusion. Sun gives me. Um, it gives me light. Scales off of strength, but again, I'm 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 I don't think I'm going to use that. So basically, I'm picking up all of these just for sale. So let's continue on. I got to keep remembering to move the mouse over to the side so it's not obstructing the screen. Hostile to the north. There it is. There we go. This is basically every every area has some lore to it. Um, so in the Trollmire, you get these uh, paper scraps, and they tell you the lore. Basically, hey, there's a giant troll around here, so we know what the uh, the boss of the area is going to be. Not that we're already facing off against trolls. I probably could turn off my sustain, but given uh, what happened to as uh, Esmero, I'd rather just keep my defenses up. There we go. Just hit that combo. And this, this belt is nothing to write home about, but at least it is actually it doesn't do anything. Well, I guess I will keep it for sale. There's that mouse pointer in the middle of the screen again. Ah, there. That's what I was talking about in the first video. I dodged that projectile. Not gonna dodge that one though. Uh, let us hit our new and improved regen. I think I'm doing my combo wrong. There we go, another level. So, Rune of, of Reflection, okay. Not sure what that does. I guess we'll, we'll find out. First off, let's look at the boots, all about the armor. Scholar, so it's better. No, it gives me maximum stamina. I'll, I'll take more stamina, I don't mind. Okay, Rune of Reflection. Activate the rune to create a protective shield, absorbing and reflecting at most 155 damage. Effect scale with magic. Uh, do I have to... No, it's just something that I can use. So, let's put that down here near my defenses. Oh, it's an infusion. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Wait, hold on. That's, yeah, this quick to move is annoying. Uh, let's see. 
Activate infusion to cure yourself of one random physical effect and reduce all damage taken from 14. Mm -hmm -hmm. No, I'm just gonna I'm gonna sell that when I get to town. Okay, auto explore is done. Let's go to the next level. Uh, and a support quest. Lead on, I will protect you. These are kind of annoying because you don't know where the NPCs are going. And they'll actually wander off and get killed. Uh, that was three. There we go. Let's regen. Grab that. Where did he go? Oh, he's over this way. Eh, quest failed. Oh well. I really don't like those escort quests, so... They're nice in that uh, if you complete them, you actually get uh, to choose a stat bonus, but... Yeah. Oh, these trolls take forever. Here's that second scrap of paper that says, Oh my god, there's more trolls! I only left my category. No, I actually leveled up somewhere in there, and I didn't uh, didn't take my skills. So let's go again. Two and two strength. One and two uh, constitution. I can now get weapons mastery, increase physical power, increase weapon uh, weapon damage, swords, axes, and maces. Yeah, let's take that, and let's go into offense. That, oh well. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not burning through stamina that quickly yet, so let's go into shield offense again. Yes. Okay, let's move along, get the mouse off the screen. Human myth of creation. Uh, I think this is just general lore. Or maybe it's a way to unlock some of the other races. Mm, I'll look at it later. I just remembered I picked up a ring, which gives me more willpower plus a bunch of immunities. So I will definitely wear this. Anything else I want? Nope, it's all that stuff I'm going to sell. Okay. down here, block him, counterattack, kill the snake, and then length of troll intestine. I I pick up ingredients, I've noticed that, but I don't know what they're for, so I, I, I haven't gotten that far in the game yet. Let's get the gem. In fact, I want to do something here. Let's go to game options. Uh, oh, from the uh, the first uh, first video, here's the uh, map grid lines. That's what I was looking for. Log fade time. Set that to zero. I want to see the log at all times. There we go. I don't like how it fades out. Uh, green. Let's pick that up for sale. Oh, there's this here. This purple is the portal that uh, that thief was going to. So we would have had to fight fight off everything all the way over here. So, okay, what is this? Toggle for movement mode. Do you feel when trying to move onto a creature? I honestly don't know what that is, what that bar is. Okay, let's continue. Bunch of snakes. Ooh, two trolls. Let's. Get the snake behind us. Keep everything in front of us. I 
There we go. Easy peasy. Iron Maul, Iron Battle Axe. I don't want either of those. Ah, there was a font of life down there, it looks like. There we go. Hostile to the south. He's hiding behind that tree. Yeah. Okay, next level. Ah, good, it's not another escort. One of them has like, uh, one of the starting areas has an, an escort pretty much every level. It's kind of frustrating. But maybe the, maybe they're randomly gener- well, the levels are randomly generated. So maybe the escorts are random as well, and I just got unlucky that one time. There we go. Just keep that basic combo going. Iron Dagger, not interested. Let's try to get the wolf first. There we go. There. Okay. Unlike the, the belt, which doesn't give us anything, the Iron Helm at least does give us three extra armor, so I'm going to put that on. Um, actually, this is something that didn't come up before. Notice that this has fatigue, 5%. So, if I take a look... Uh, stamina cost is 9.5 for my shield offense. So, when I put this on... There we go. My stamina cost is now 9.9. .9. Uh, the heavier armor that you wear, the more fatigued you become. Um, this is mitigated by this talent, is it this one? No, that's uh, more skin. I believe it's this talent? I'm not entirely sure. I think there's a talent that will reduce that, or maybe more strength uh, reduces it. The, the, the point being is that it, it's there to, uh, um, there's no class restrictions on what armor you could wear, but a lighter, um, A class that normally uses lighter armor, when it stacks up fatigue, uh, becomes less effective. Again, I reiterate, I'm not an expert at Tome. So, as evidenced by my horrible, horrible start of my last character. Why is this mouse glowing? Giant crystal rat. Hmm. Well, it's dead. So on this, I'm going to, anytime that a critter other than a troll is next to me, I am going to take that out first since the trolls take forever. There. Actually. Troll uses stun, so I'm stunned for a turn. There we go. Oh. Boots. Do I have boots already? I do. And it's stamina, but this one has better armor. Only one one extra point of armor versus the, the stamina loss. I think I'm going to stick with this. What is this? Really, what is this? Honestly, I don't know. Something that 
Um, we'll have to look at the wiki. There. Uh, regeneration of the wizard. Yeah, not interested in that one. Iron Mace, white quality, don't care. So now it's undead. So let's go in here. Honey tree. Why do I... Th oh. <laughs> it brought out the bear. Uh, let's regen. I'll level up after the bear. I don't need the level. There we go. So level four. Worn to weapons. Yes, please. Even this out. And again, double. Actually, no. Let's let's back this point out. Let's see. Uh, improves your ability to perform constructs after blocks in the following ways. Allows well, constructs after incomplete blocks. Increase the duration of counter strike debuff. Increase the number of counter strikes. So this block, no, this one, mm. let me check something here, yeah, I'm happy with the changes I made so far, so shield block, Block on will become vulnerable to a deadly counter strike. Okay. So this improves my counter strikes. So I actually want to take this one. There we go. Let's see what's behind these doors. That was uneventful. These were all uneventful. Okay. This is a, yeah, Prox the Mighty, so this is the, the boss troll. So we need to get the wolf first. Our combo, Just sit back here, let us get a regen, not that we really need it. There we go. Prox's lucky halfling foot. An erring scalpel, which I don't think is good for us. So let's get all of this. Another scrap of paper. Oh, hidden treasure. Now let's go for the hidden treasure. Take everything. Okay, let's see. Unerring scalpel requires cunning. I can't use it. I've already got a hat, so this doesn't help me. Rejuven rejuvenating rough leather armor of temporal, so I get temporal and life regen. But I lose two points of armor. Hmm. I'm going to stick with what I've got. So this helps me detect traps. I don't think I'm using this on anything else. Uh, you must wear this object to use it. Okay, well. I meant to hit wear. There we go. That goes in this slot right here. So now I've got an additional 5 defense, 5 luck, better disarming, and uh, detectability, so, or detect traps. Okay. Oh. The auto explorer is a grumpy about the poison ivy. What are you doing? 
Uh, I already killed your, your head cheese. I don't know what you guys think you might be doing, but... Actually, let's move this over. Okay. Our gauntlets... I don't have gloves, so on they go. For an additional armor. What was that item? Iron Helm of Dexterity. I think... Uh, I. What is my current Iron Helm? If anything, I want to pick that up to... There it is. Ah! Stupid trees. Come on. Let me through. Really? Can I automatically pathfind over there? Oh, I can. There we go. So, just gives me two dexterity. I'll take it. Okay, now I can hit this. Did I level up? And, yeah, I leveled up and didn't notice. Okay. I gotta get better at noticing that. So, two class points. Put all your foes, pile up in your shield, and put all your strength on mighty thrust and repel them all away three grids. I'm dazed for five turns. I'm not gonna worry about that yet. I want the health regen, definitely. Even this out. Let's do our normal 2-1 split, and another point into... Oh, I have no generic points. Okay. There we go. Let's go to... Oh, yes, this one. So that wasn't even the boss. That's uh, just, just a cave troll. Why is it there are cave trolls in the forest? Let's see, spiked. Uh, gives me... It's basically identical, except I get retaliation damage. Sounds like something I want. Especially once I open this door. Oh, there's the forest troll. Okay. And th there's the boss. Bill the stone troll. Nice. Okay, let's just let him come into me. Uh, let's actually... No. Counter. He didn't get stunned. No, so I'm taking it a lot slower this time. There we go. I was watching that health. Finish off the rest of these trolls. Let's see what Bill's treasures were. Transmorgification chest. Oh, okay, surefire. It's a bow. Can't use it. Transmorgification. Any items dropped inside are transported to another place. Process and destroy to destruct energy. Oh, it's a way to sell. Nice. It's it's basically a, a loot uh, a loot generator. Okay. Or gold generator. New birth equipment, transmorphication chest. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Wolf which spawns the mysterious. All you new characters will start with a transmorphication chest at birth. That's nice. Okay. Knowing me, I'm probably going to do this uh, do this completely wrong. Okay. Well, 
let's see, Grounding Helm of Dexterity. One more Dex plus Resistances. Put that on right now. Surefire. Eh. Requires Dexterity. Although, I do have... No, 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 no. I'm just going to stick with Melee. Uh, what was the other thing that I picked up? Fusion of the Wizard, Summon the Warrior. Pretty much think that's it. Yep. Oh, I'm encumbered. Well, let's take care of that real quick. Transmortify, yes. Let's see. Well, since I'm not going to do Surefire. Ooh, only one from Surefire? Oops. I would have gotten a lot more if I sold that at a, at a town. That was silly of me. But at least now my encumbrance is down. Actually, I should have transmogrified this. 14, uh... <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Get all the treasures. King Wand, I'm not worried about. So how how does it get put into the chest? Use. How do I look in the chest? Inventory. So we go to your inventory to move them out of the chest. But how do I tell that they're in the chest? That's my question. Hmm. That's not good. Let's look at my quests. What's the next one? Hidden treasure is done, failed. Uh, so let us just recall. Now that I got the rod of recall, just sit here for 40 turns. Oh, it moved. Oh, nice. Okay, so at the end, it got it. Very nice. So that automatically generated the gold. Cool. So let's get over to the town. So this is the human town, where the, the dwarven town had that nice symmetry to it. The human town, a little lo a load lag there, is kind of sprawling. Let's just get rid of all of these. The chest is going to be nice. I wonder. I wonder what. Uh, for five gold, I just remembered I should be selling at a place that has twenty-five gold. Uh, thirty gold, good enough. Not that anything I have is going to sell for thirty gold, but. Better to err on the side of caution. Which is, uh, there's probably a way that I could sell faster, but... Notice also the, the orb, the rod of recall, and the chest do not show up in this list, so you can never sell them. Gems are bringing some nice gold. Okay. I want armor. 
So I've got a budget of 108. Just steel armor, acid resistance, crackling, iron shield. Actually, a better shield would be good. I actually like this. Radiance, I'm not. I'm not too concerned about. Well, hold on. Block value 19, block value 16. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, actually going to go with the cold resistance. And the reason for that is because when I get hit, I'm going to be doing damage. Uh, it does a burst. It also does uh, damage when hit. It does more damage when I hit. So definitely... Definitely going to go for this just for the, the quicker attacks or the quicker uh, DPS. So let's sell this out. And see if there's a belt or anything in here. No. Uh, last time I looked I was, uh, where the pickaxes in the human town. These are bows. Um, I don't know what that does, and I'm not concerned about it right now. Those are all the infusion, or, yeah. Ah, there we go. So do I have enough for a pickaxe? Yes, I do. I also have one, enough for a better lantern. I'm actually going to go for the lantern first. And the Zealot gives me plus three to all resistances and larger light rate. Oh, I don't have the gold. Okay. Physical saves, maximum life, light radius. Let's go for the Survivor's Brass Lantern. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I can't math today, apparently. Let's just go for the bright lantern so we have better, better light in dungeons. Where? Let's sell this off. And there we go. So, at least this time, well, like last time, I have survived to the starter town. Now I've got the next step in the quest, which I will take on next time. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Let's finish these out. Ooh, here we go. Unflinching Resolve. Recover quickly from effects that would disable you. So, yeah, let's take that one. There we go. As I said, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Have fun!